Hi everybody, this is Addie with Addie's in Abilene, Texas, and today, school is in. This video is a little tutorial about the fabric we all know and love called Tencel. Today we're going to talk about what it is, how it's made, and why we love it so much. But before I get to the what, the how, and the why, I want to clarify something. You've all probably seen the word Tencel written out, and you've probably noticed that the T in Tencel is always capitalized, T-E-N-C-E-L. Well, let me tell you why. It's because it's a name, it's a trademark name by a company called Lenzing, L-E-N-Z-I-N-G. Now, Lenzing is an Australian, mm -mm, Austrian company, and they manufacture in the U.S. and in Europe, and they've recently grown into India. Tencel is what Lenzing calls their fabric, but the generic name for this fabric is called Lyocell, L-Y-O-C-E-L-L. -L. So if you look on your garment and on the tag, it says that Lyocell is a percentage of the garment or is the garment. That's right, it is Tencel, but you need to know that it only has to be 30% Lyocell in order for the garment tag to read that as a fabric make. So just log that away. For the sake of this video, because Tencel is the word we know, Tencel is the word that's widely accepted in the retail world, we're just gonna say Tencel, okay? But it is capitalized because it is a trademark name. So what is Tencel? Well, it's wood pulp. If you watch my video on linen, you know that linen is made from the cellulose fibers in the flax plant. Well, it's the same concept here. Tencel is made from the wood pulp, the cellulose fibers, from a tree. Now, the trees that produce our Tencel for us are grown on tree farms, land that isn't good for grazing and land that isn't good for growing crops. So there's no waste here. The wood pulp is taken and it is made into a product that's consistent with kind of like a rough paper. That rough paper is broken into pieces and it's put in a solution or a solvent. The wood pulp then dissolves in that solvent and it creates kind of this cellulose slurry. And once the right consistency is achieved, this slurry is pushed through these tiny holes. Uh, for example, if you take Play-Doh and you smushed it through a colander or you smushed it through a sieve, you would get this long string of Play-Doh, right? Well, it's the same idea. They take this slurry, they push it through this, these little holes, this sieve, and you get these long fibers that are then woven to create Tencel. That's how it's made. Now, you've probably noticed that when you touch Tencel, there are lots of different feels to the fabric. Some pieces of Tencel feel like suede. Some pieces of Tencel feel kind of like silk. Some pieces of Tencel feel almost like peach fuzz. Well, that comes from a process called filibration, which is um, putting a wet fiber um, and under, under some kind of abrasive process. The amount of filibration determines the feel, or in the industry it's called the hand, of the fabric because it creates little mini fibers within those fibers and that creates the different textures or the different feels of the different tinsel garments. So that's what it is. How is it made? Well, you know it's wood pulp, you know it's dissolved in a solvent, and you know that solvent or that slurry is then pushed through tiny holes. But here's what's interesting about tinsel. It's manufactured in a process that's called a closed loop process, which means 99% of the chemicals and the emissions that are put out in this process are recaptured. So it's very eco-friendly. They're recycled over and over and over again, the chemicals are, and the emissions, there are fewer emissions in this process than any other man-made fabric out there. They catch over 99% of it. So it's a very eco-friendly fabric. Not only is it natural, comes from wood pulp, so there's no waste, but the way it's processed is eco-friendly too. Why do we love it so much? Well, Tencel is known for its drape, the way it drapes on the body. It's beautiful, it's flattering on every figure, especially given the different hands or the different feels. It's known because it's a breathable fabric. It doesn't get real hot. Um, 
it has a, a great deal of wicking ability. It absor absorbs off the body. It absorbs moisture off the body. So those of you who have sensitive skin or you have skin that's easily irritated, Tencel is great for you because it keeps that moisture off your body. It's machine washable. Again, you'll have to watch our video about that. That's a whole nother video. Uh, it is machine washable. It's durable. It lasts forever. And it's so resilient and it dies so beautifully. Because if you think about it, wood sucks in water, right? That's how it lives. So because this fabric is made from wood pulp, it just sucks in the dye whenever dye is cast on it. And it dyes up beautifully. There are a million reasons we love Tinsel. And you know probably if you've ever looked at the price tag of something that t that's Tinsel that it's pricey. But it's pricey because of the process it undergoes and it's pricey because it lasts forever and it's beautiful. Did you know it's naturally wrinkle resistant and it's naturally shrink resistant? It's like a magic fabric and we here at Addies love it. If you wanna know more about Tencel, how to tend to your Tencel, watch our how to wash Tencel video or any other of the fabrics that we all, we love here at Addies, go to my website, www.shopaddies.com Com. Thanks so much for your time today. I hope you got some good information from this video, and you know we love you from Addie's. Thanks.